All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another video. And listen, y'all already know what time it is. The weekend is almost over, so that means it's time to get into this week's heat or hype, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in. Or it was just that basura that I did not want to expose y'all to it. Now this week we actually got a lot, a lot of heat on the list. We have one basura sneaker, which is good. Only one basura of the week for this week's releases to talk about. And I gotta say, I I believe I was wrong. I was wrong about a sneaker, one of the fair god shoes. But we will get into that. So let's get into this week's heat or hype. <laughs> So first up, let's just cover the JB releases for this weekend. We had an Air Jordan 14 for the men's sizes out there, and then you had an Air Jordan 4 for small feet gang out there. Now, the 14s, I call them the Candy Cane 14s. They now renamed them to the Rip Hamilton. I don't know if that's to drive some type of hype to it, but it's just the Candy Cane 14s. Now, me personally, um, I was never the biggest fan of that particular colorway. As you guys saw, there was no video posted up on them. I didn't buy them. I just went ahead and passed on the Candy Cane 14s. I just wasn't feeling them like that, so I just went ahead and pass on that pair second up we have the monsoon or the moonsoon monsoon i don't know air jordan 4 color for the ladies out there um this is kind of you know standard fare for women's it's an air jordan 4 with a very um iridescent type upper um i mean it, it it's there it's there i'm not gonna say if it's good or bad i'm gonna let the ladies chime in on this air jordan 4 um it definitely is girly i guess you could say and then last up we had the nike kd12 now i actually like this shoe you know after looking at it especially with this black pair i still love how the purple kind of creeps up on the sole kind of like reminds me of the concords how that purple creeps on the sole from like where you see like the translucent pieces on the bottom so if you're wondering yes i do like the kd12 i didn't pick them up but i would like to see this pair in person i might have to take a quick trip to the mall to check them out we also got a few different looks at the martin pair of the lebron 16s now these are supposed to be dropping on april the 16th so if you want this martin lebron joint which i get it i like the actual theme and i really can't be mad at this martin pair it's a dope call back to the show and there's actually a video i'm pretty sure martin lawrence dropped on his ig that i saw of him actually getting the shoe so that was dope so the martin lebron 16 i think is a dope theme dope concept i'm not mad at it at all and if you're looking for a pair they are dropping on april 16th now this next collection is the nike on air collection now i'm not going to get too deep into this because i'm pretty sure i'll talk about it more next week but it is releasing on april 13th on nike sneakers if you don't know what the nike on air release or pack is is basically that nike had a competition people design shoes um something similar to basically how the sean witherspoon happened but this time it's a good i think a four five or six different pair of these new shoes dropped now this next information comes from Pirates once again and there is no official photo or anything like that but in October of 2019 there should be a brand new Virgil Abloh and Nike uh, SB dropping. Now they have the color code up here it's like University Gold and White so they have the color code but there aren't really any images or any mockups that I saw just know an off-white Nike SB Dunk could be in the works and could be dropping in October and there's another shoe that we're talking about dropping in October but we'll get into that in a little bit. Now we also got two new Nike Element React 87 colorways coming down the pipeline for spring and summer of this year. You have this moss color right here which is kind of like a green and orange. It's it's kind of similar to some of the other colorways that have dropped but it's not a bad colorway on the element react 87 and um a lot of times like the collab colorways are somewhat similar to some of the more gr releases and i feel like that's how this one fits in now my personal favorite is this dusty peach and atmosphere pair now i know there are certain colorways of the 87 that are very very high and usually that's on the collab pairs but don't sleep on some of the more, and once again, I gotta put this in quotation, GR colorway releases. One of my favorites was like the NYX colorway that I got for, I think, basically retail for 160. And these two colorways are good as well. This Dusty Peach and Atmosphere pair, I'm definitely copping, and I, I hope I can get them for retail. If they're for retail, it's for sure a cop, 100%. Now this next news, Slick kind of came out of nowhere, but uh, yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce is now with Team Adidas, not Team Nike, not Team Puma, um, not Team Reebok. She is with 
Adidas. I know people were making jokes about like a Beyonce Yeezy shoe or something like that. I don't know that. I don't know how that shoe would look. But yes, Beyonce is on Team Adidas now. Hey, good for her. Get the check. Next up, we actually got a look at a couple new Presto React colorways. Now, here's my problem. I when I seen like some of the teaser photos and some of the sample photos of the shoe, I thought it was going to be a banger. Now that I'm seeing the official photos, I don't know if it's just because they're not on feet. I don't know, but the only colorway I really like is still that red, sail, and black colorway. All the other ones are just kind of meh. Like, I, I don't know. The red, black, and sail is just a standout colorway for me. Now, there is no official release date right now, so if you're looking to grab these, just keep your eyes peeled to the computer screens, IG, or Nike's Twitter. I'm pretty sure they'll be coming within the next two months. So y'all know we gotta do it at least one time a week. This is the Basura of the week. It is this NMD City Sock. I know, it's not the worst thing ever, but if you look at this, like, why? Like, this is one of the most thrown together NMDs I have ever seen in my life. And I remember when I used to stress hard over getting City Socks, I finally got a pair in and I loved them, but once I put them on my feet, I hated how the City Sock looked on my particular foot. So I just know these NMDs with this big ass black ink NMD all over the outside, it's just, it's just not a good look, and these are the Basuda of the week. Now, I'm not sure if I talked about this one last week, but if I did, I apologize. I'm retreading over some of the stuff, but this is the Air Jordan 12 Snake Skin. Now, I know we talked about it before, but I don't know if we had official images, so Small Feet Gang, once again, this is for you. Air Jordan 12, Reptile, Snake Skin, whatever the case may be for Small Foot Gang out there. And this is the official photo, so this is exactly how the shoe will look. Y'all let me know if y'all are throwing those down below. We also got a Converse and Foot Patrol collab, and it was actually nice, man. The apparel, the chucks that go with it, I mean, this was a pretty, pretty solid Converse collab with Foot Patrol. Some good color blocking, good materials. I mean, it's not a bad collab, and yeah. Converse Foot Patrol out of nowhere. So now let's talk about the part where I tell y'all, you know, I was wrong. I feel like I was wrong in my initial opinion. Now we're gonna be talking about all this new Fear of God and Nike news that we got over this week. It's a lot of new shoes, a lot of new stuff to talk about, and a couple colorways that we hadn't seen yet. So you have the Nike Air Fear of God 180, you have the Fear of God like Moccasin or Aqua Mock, how kind of Jerry described it on IG, and you have the Nike Air Fear of God 1. Now first off, I'm gonna start off with the 180. Now when this shoe initially, I seen pictures, um, I feel like I I trash it. Now that I've seen it on feet, I don't know if this is the same effect that like when I do it on feet, it has on some of y'all, but I seen them on feet with the right pants. The shape is still there. It's very similar to the Fear of God one. Um, the sole is fine. So, you know, if I said they were trash before, the Fear of God 180s, you know, it's okay to change your opinion. And I'm gonna say that the 180s, those are a cop for me at retail. I don't really see myself going after these for resale, but for retail hit, if I could on sneakers, I would. You had the black and gray, obviously inspired by the Air Raid. You have like the light bone colorway as well as a triple black colorway. So there's the Air Fear of God 180. I was wrong, I was wrong, they're clean. Now the moccasin shits, like, I I know my homie Mikey. I know he wants me to like these. He's trying to convince me to like them. There's a pink pair, and then there's also a black pair of these moccasins. Right now, um, even with Jerry Post on his IG, where the inspiration came from, like it's kind of like inspired by the old Nike Aqua socks, which I definitely see. Um, if it was a water shoe, I'd be like, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, but it's not. It's not a water shoe. It's inspired, but not a water shoe. And uh, yeah, no, the Marcus is not, it's not really pulling me, bro. It's, it's not doing it for me. And then my favorite, favorite looks we got are at these new Fear of God 1 colorways. Now, we had a look at the orange colorway, which is clean. I like those. The spruce green? The spruce green joints? Yeah. Yeah. They're fire. And then we had a new challenger approach and we have this sail pair. Now, I've mentioned this before, that in the original Air Fear of God 1, you had the black and sail, and you had like the sail gray and white pair, but there was also a friends and family colorway that was just like the gray and sail, but it was all over um, like light bone, like that off-white creamish colorway, which were 
I mean, it's probably the most fire pair out of the original three. But now they're actually releasing a pair that is the all over cell makeup, but it's gonna have the uppers of the black and cell colorway, meaning that really crazy suede on the front and then like a sail mesh or sail netting on the top. So y'all know how much I like the Fear of God one. I think they're fire. Y'all can think how you want. That's the whole point of the sneaker and clothing shit. You rock what you like. For me though, the spruce greens, need them the sale shits need them and the orange shits need them will i actually get them off of nike sneakers what do you think now we had another air drone one just appear out of nowhere this week and it's this air drone one unc which really resembles the patent leather pair but this time in leather um this in leather doesn't pop anywhere near as hard as the patent leather pair and i still have these I still have my UNC ones, my regular joints, and um, in my opinion, these are way better than this pair right here. So, I mean, if I can get them early for a review for y'all, sure. But honestly, if I was to pick between these and these, um, I'm just gonna keep these and let those ones go. If I'm just being honest. We also got some information from the fellow VA native Z sneakerheads. Now, this right here is supposedly gonna be what could be the actual what the Air Jordan 4? Yes, we are getting what the pairs on Air Jordans now. Now, once again, this is rumored, 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 <laughs> just so you catch it, for a Black Friday release. So there is a possible what the Air Jordan 4, which basically opens Pandora's box into every Air Jordan. Imagine a well, I mean, we really already got some type of a what the Air Jordan 1 with the top three. You really think about it, but you can do a what the Air Jordan 2, uh, 3, 4, 5. I mean, you can do a what the on every Air Jordan. There's multiple colorways. So just be looking out. This is something that could be happening later on this year. And then he also dropped some information on the brand new Shattered Backboard 3.0. Now, right here, it is a patent leather pair but he said that it might not be a patent leather pair and supposedly they're dropping on october 26th now the sole is that kind of yellow aged midsole and you guys can see kind of some of the color block and i feel like sneakerhead in the bay did a gatorade custom that looks just like this or a couple people or maybe it was meek's meek shoes like i've seen this colorway before um and people were just coloring um gatorade air jordan sixes or air jordan ones my b now me personally i still have these the og Shattered backboards, subtle flex. Very, very subtle flex. And they are, um, they look pretty good still. They look pretty good. So I'll definitely warn them. The box is dusty. You can't see it though. Um, but a 3.0, I'll take them. Now, last up for this week, we got two new Yeezy 350 V2s. And I still have that same energy. And I want y'all out there who say Yeezys are dead, they're ass, they're trash, they're bricks. Keep the same energy when these triple black joints drop. Yes, there should be a triple black Yeezy 350 v2 in the works not only is there a triple black pair but there might be a reissue or a turtle dove 350 v2 which the turtle dove pair them shits could be super super hard from the mock-ups how they look in the mock-ups like ah, uh, they they're gonna be hard but remember what y'all said y'all said yeezys are dead so just y'all don't even care about these right but hey man that is it much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys will follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snatcher the snatcher is bull.cb by the way here there blah blah, blah of course i mean i ain't got no shoes so bullet rc and i'm gonna see y'all next video y'all let me know out of this video what y'all looking forward to it was a lot a lot of heat on this week's list but i'm gonna see y'all next time on the next video y'all be easy peace <laughs>